Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on. India's Foreign Minister talks tough on terror at SCO meet in Goa. Pakistan's ex-PM Imran Khan shifts TTP talks blame claims army was on board. And people in Nepal and India celebrate Buddha Purnima with prayers. And now for all the details. India's Foreign Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar in a veiled attack slammed Pakistan over terrorism during the Shanghai Cooperation Organization SCO Foreign Ministers meeting in Goa. Chairing the diplomatic mood, Jashankar said the menace of terrorism continues unabated and there can be no justification for terrorism, including cross-border terrorism. Highlighting that combating terrorism is one of the original mandates of SCO, he said taking eyes off terrorism would be detrimental to their security interests. In a reference to China amid ongoing border row, Jay Shankar noted while connectivity is key to progress, it must come with respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity of all member states. He added, India's priority is to move towards a secure SCO during its presidency. Excellencies, while the world was engaged in facing COVID and its consequences, the menace of terrorism continues unabated. Taking our eyes off this menace would be detrimental to our security interests. We firmly believe that there can be no justification for terrorism and it must be stopped in all its forms and manifestations, including cross-border terrorism. While the talks were underway, at least five Indian Army soldiers were killed during an operation against terrorists in Jammu and Kashmir on Friday. India has long blamed Pakistan helps terrorists mount attacks on Indian soil, a charge Islamabad denies. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi has accepted French President Emmanuel Macron's invitation to be the guest of honour at France's traditional military parade held during Bastille Day on July 14th. India's Foreign Ministry in a statement said that Indian Armed Forces contingent will also take part in the parade alongside French forces. The visit will coincide with the 25th anniversary of the strategic partnership between France and India. The French presidency in a statement said the historic visit will also allow joining initiatives to take on the big challenges of our time, such as climate change and the achievement of sustainable development targets. Pakistan's opposition PTI party chief Imran Khan has claimed the military leadership was fully on board in holding talks with the banned tehreek e taliban Pakistan during his tenure as Prime Minister. He has blamed the incumbent government's negligence for the militant group's resurgence. Local media quoted him saying that his government was toppled while they were discussing the issue of rehabilitation and the incumbent government did not take care about the issue further. The Pakistani Taliban has been behind several attacks against the state that have become more frequent since last year after the group revoked a ceasefire and peace talks collapsed. The government says the peace talks allowed the release from prison of hundreds of the militants and their leaders, enabling them to regroup and launch fresh attacks. Moving on, load shedding has become a part of life for people across parts of Pakistan. Residents lament they have to suffer unscheduled power outages for several hours daily and hefty electricity bills on top have made it extremely difficult to manage other expenses amid soaring inflation. A local in Lahore city blamed the current system disproportionately targets low-income neighborhoods where cost recoveries are less. However, it imposes a form of collective punishment even on those paying their bills. Power outages have plagued Pakistan for years, crippling industries and small businesses. Residents say they are bearing the brunt of incompetent policies of the government. काम तो जाई जाते वापस आई जाई जा बत्ती नहीं है कि 
ਕੋਈ ਹਾਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਗਰੀਬ ਬੰਦੇ ਦਾ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਸੌਂਦਾ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਹੈ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਬਸ ਆ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਮਰਨ ਵਾਲਾ ਮੁਕਾਮ ਹੋਇਆ ਮਾੜੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਦਾ top us aid official samantha power has warned of gan people are in for a very difficult year ahead as donors grapple with challenging the taliban administration crackdown on women and girls more crisis around the world and overall less funding talking to media samantha termed the ban on female aid workers morally deplorable and said us aid cannot get used to the ban she added in 2022 the us aid had more money to respond to ripple effects of russia's war in ukraine but washington will make some very hard choices this year on global humanitarian aid meanwhile afghan taliban foreign minister amir khan muttaqi is scheduled to hold a trilateral dialogue with his counterparts from pakistan and china in islamabad after the un allowed him to travel amid sanctions however there is no clarity what the ministers would discuss Amid's much fanfare and cheer a sea of devotees congregated on the banks of the Vaigai River in India's southern Madurai to witness the holy ritual of Lord Kallagar entering the river early on Friday. This is the pinnacle event of the ongoing Chithirai festival. Devotees flocked to the temple town on Thursday night to take part in the celebrations. The idol of the Hindu deity was adorned in green silk and was seated on a golden stallion wielding a sword. The annual Chithirai festival is widely celebrated by people in southern India and has six major events that take place over the span of 15 days. Thousands of devotees in Nepal and India thronged the holy places of worship to mark the occasion of Buddha Purnima on Friday. The revered occasion is also observed as the day when Buddhism's founder Lord Buddha attained enlightenment. Thousands of devotees thronged the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Swayambhunath in Nepal to mark the birth anniversary of Buddhism's founder Gautam Buddha. Devotees lit incense sticks, offered flowers, spin the mane and offered arms to monks commemorating Buddha's contributions and learnings of peace. The Buddhist communities in the world, including Nepal, observed the day with much reverence. Grand programs were also held at Buddha's birthplace Lumbini. Hindi bhane ga euta hamro euta aastha ko ru ma euta hamro Gautam Buddha जन्मिन भएको एउटा अ महत्त्वपूर्ण एउटा दिन मानिन्छ जुन यो दिनमा चाहिँ हामीले बुद्धिस्ट धर्मलम्बीहरूबाट पूजा अर्चना द लामाहरूबाट पूजा अर्चना गरेर धुमधामसँग यो सयम्बुमा मात्रै नभएकन बौद्ध देखि बौद्ध लगायत विभिन्न धर्म स्थलहरूमा मनाइने गरिन्छ Meanwhile hundreds of Hindu devotees also gathered at the banks of river Ganga in Indian cities of Haridwar and Prayagraj to take a holy dip on the occasion Gautam Buddha is considered as the ninth incarnation of Hindu god Vishnu by people in India and Nepal On the occasion the sacred relics of Buddha were also put on display at the ancient Buddhist site of Sarnath in India Born on Shukla Purnima of Baisakh month to a royal family, Buddha had left his palace at the age of 29 for penance. He is also regarded as the light of Asia. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Tech TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.